you know, I actually found out in the circle that I was pregnant. <laughs> Legend, I am the first successful catfish to win <laughs> the circle of history. Granted, the history kind of just started, but you know, I'm like, I'm one of those that like, you look back in the textbook and people put hearts around because like, I'm like the legend, you know what I'm saying? So my name is now Ikar. I changed it recently. I, I woke up and had this ping from the universe. You need to shave your head today. And I was like, what? I love my hair and I just, I accepted it and I feel deeply our willingness to transform allows us the willingness to heal. So Ikar means the one who touches the sky. It's Greek. I am now a Georgia peach. I left New York and now I'm down south in Georgia. Georgia, Georgia. And I'm currently in Bolu, Turkey. Uh, my job, I'm a professional volleyball player, so uh, being in season, playing overseas is one of the best things about being in my job and playing in Turkey is where I am this year. My fondest memory is walking into Courtney's room and seeing that he was real and that the connection was real between us two. I, I loved it, I loved him. It was also the first time I had spoken to anyone in days, so um, maybe that why, that's why I really loved it, but still one of the greatest memories I have. I would say it's kind of simple, but the catering, can I say this? Like my grocery list was ordered like every single day with the exact ingredients I needed. And that sounds really simple, but I like to cook and it's just annoying getting all the different ingredients and I never have the free time to actually cook. So the circle gave me a perfect opportunity to like get my mind right and get my cooking on. And they gave me every single little ingredient and sauce packet and fair seasonings I needed. And that was pretty cool to me. My favorite memory from the circle is being the number one influencer like right out the gate. Because I think it's just a good feeling to know that your first impression is a good first impression. I'd rather be number one than number eight. <laughs> the Kardashians were my favorite memory because when we had that very first chat, Chloe, Courtney, and I, I connected with them on a heart level. I think they felt a very deep connection and it has continued in, in real, real world now. Kardashians will always be my babies. I keep in contact with them all the time. One of my favorite things about this experience has been my friendship with Lee. I never realized that a friend like Lee is exactly what I needed in my life. I think I talked to Jack a lot, um, to Alicia a little bit, but Lee is like my BFF. Lee and I talk almost daily. Lee is, you know, he's better than I could ever imagine when I met him. He pretty much takes care of the whole Try. My friendship with every single person in the cast is very tight. We, I talk with all of them. I try to, you know, I'll do anything for them. If I can help them in any way, I, I adore them all. I truly do. After playing as John with Lisa, we obviously got pretty close in the circle and we stayed in touch very well since the show. So I'm friends with everyone still from the cast. We're all in a big group chat. Uh, we talk pretty much daily now, um, but Jack is the one that I'm closest with because we lived together and played the game together and uh, we chat all the time. The hardest part about playing a catfish, especially my boss, who is also a celebrity, was just, I was really nervous about space related questions because I don't have all the space knowledge he did. And I was so worried that somebody was gonna be like, you know, a astronomy major. The hardest part about being a catfish was remembering that I was a catfish. It was remembering that I was a guy. You know, there was a lot of times that I wanted to do makeup and talk about makeup. I wanted to gossip with the girls. I didn't know nothing that was going on with the girls. And if I was a girl, I would have known, but then I would have been brought up in that drama. Um, so I'm, I'm definitely happy I went in as Trevor, but um, it was extremely hard. And I was constantly worried that people were going to figure out that I was a catfish and ask me all these questions about sports and all this shit that I don't know about. So thinking back on the circle, knowing that I was the first one out, which was you know, devastating and also beautiful, um, there is absolutely nothing I would have changed, except I would have made other people aware 
that they could also play the game that I was playing. I think if I went back, I would, I would do it the same way. I would do it the same exact way. And the reason why is because everything in my perspective is already set in stone. I went in and I did what I did and I had a magical experience. Who knows what, what the outcome could have been if I would have switched up any of my decisions. I'm happy. I'm happy. I definitely wouldn't change my strategy, but I would change um, how I approached the situation talking to Courtney and Lee. I think that is the situation where I misstepped. Um, I think I was trying to see where a relationship was stood on a certain ground and I was obviously wrong. So I think that was the one mistake that I made. And I think if I would have just stayed the steady course of being everyone's friend and becoming in with those two guys, it would have been completely different. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> so, well, if, if I played again, you know, I'd still be happy to be a villain. But I think what I realized during the game is that the cutthroat strategy is not necessarily the best route to win the circle, especially if not everybody else is playing a very tactical game. I mean, the whole uh, premise of like stabbing someone in the back implies that they trust you. And in the circle, I think you want to keep the people that trust you around more than the people that don't. Savannah, Savannah, Savannah. She's still my LA sis. She lives a couple streets away, and that is still my girl. Um, we talk just as much as me and Lee talk, and I love her even more than I imagined I would in the game. I thought that when we got out, we would be close, but getting to know the person behind that picture, she's even more beautiful than anything she uploaded during the game. Savannah was so proud of me when I finally was able to sit down and tell her all about uh, justice for Savannah. She said, I knew. I chose the right person, um, and I love it. I love it, and I love her. So, me and Mitchell. That's a touchy subject. Me and Chloe, there was some sparks on the show. We had a little bit in her terms, some banter. And then I think I actually had to friend zone her because of Trevor. So we didn't really get to go much on the show, but post show, me and Chloe definitely have a relationship. I adore him. He's got a special place in my heart. He is such a sweet soul. And ever since the show and us meeting each other at the finale, we were talking loads and there was like sparks and chemistry. We actually shared a kiss. So that's really exciting. Not an official dating relationship by any means, but we're good friends. And I don't know, I guess we're still trying to figure that out and we'll wait and see where that goes. But right now I just absolutely adore Chloe. She's such a sweetheart and just happens to be all around beautiful inside and out. I FaceTime him literally like every couple of days. Um, and I've even spoken to his mum. So things are going really well. I think the Glamican challenge was a defining moment for my game because I had know nothing about makeup. Uh, I tried to apply the makeup like water paint with like i like wetted the brush and like started painting that shit on and so it was it became immediately apparent to me as soon as i like stepped back and looked at my mannequin i was like oh i'm so screwed like this is every, everyone knew pretty much everybody knew that it, it's not going to be a college girl doing this makeup so this has to be a catfish and then even though people don't really care about catfish in our season it like me being a pretty obvious one made it an easy out to kind of like rate rate me low um and then with the twist that happened following in the in the rating, I actually think that it's possible that if the influencers were actually the one, if the, if the top rated people were actually responsible for blocking, I might've made it through that round because I had a pretty good relationship with Chloe and Kat has told me that she would want to make a strategic move and take out like a big threat. But for the longevity of my game, it was, I, I kind of just tanked it. Like, I don't think it, I was making the final after the Glamican challenge. My relationship with Tara Leisha, I feel like, is in a good place, or at least I hope it is. I feel like I've done everything that I can to make amends with her. You know, I've been apologetic. I've held myself accountable for the way I have said things. And I feel pretty confident uh, in, our, in our relationship with one another. I think even though we're not the best of friends, we're cordial. And... That's all I can ask for at the moment. We're cool, you know, we shared a experience with the circle. We were in the circle at number one and number two right off the bat. Um, I'm excited for her and just like the rest of the cast mates, you know, again, we all speak pretty frequently in our group chat. So I'm excited to see everything that's happening for her and everyone else.
yes, Lance had seen me in the show. And for the most part, he thought I did a great job. There were a couple things where he was like, oh, I would never say that. But uh, uh, overall, I think that he uh, thought I did great. Mommy, honey that I got. <laughs> Everybody loves some money, um, but I stay true to myself and my goals in the game and the game. I said I needed that money because I have a family and, you know, I wanted to do right by my family. And the main purpose and use of that money was to go towards a house. And honey, I'm in it. Okay. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't want to say too much, but... You could be seeing me on your screens a lot sooner than you think. After the circle, I think it's time for me to sort of continue getting the hot goss from celebrities. I want to continue to grow my platform. I want to meet all of the reality stars, the game players, our game changers um, in reality TV and get to know them um, on a platform, interview style. That's what's next for me. That's what I want. I'm manifesting it. What is next for Delisa? Hmm. Oh my gosh, there is, I don't know what's next for me. Honestly, the only thing that I do know is that I cannot wait for this thing to drop out of me. <laughs> oh my God, I have a baby on the way, me and Trevor have a, another little girl on the way and we're super excited. You know, I actually found out in the circle that I was pregnant. Um, it was a crazy, like, unexplainable, unimaginable experience. But yes, um, that's that's what I do know is coming. <laughs> Another little girl. But um, as far as anything else, we shall see. I'm releasing a breathwork certification and training to give back to other teachers to empower, empower them with these modalities. And I've just been speaking and traveling and showing this wisdom. It's kind of interesting. You, you must reflect back and say, hmm, maybe there was a reason why I got voted off first. I like the way you work, universe. <laughs>